Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming a DIY makeup brush cleaner. Um, if these angles are kind of weird or if my camera's turned sideways, it's because I'm literally missing the piece that like clips on to this part of my tripod so my camera can sit up there and I have no clue where that is. So we're basically going to be winging it. I have, guys, you guys are so DIY'd up right now that it's unreal. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and press that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to press the little bell so that you can get notified every time I post. And this is my first video of 2017. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's just go ahead and get into the DIY. Okay guys, so what you're going to be needing for this DIY is a baby jar. Cleaned and everything removed. Um, a glue, let me show you, a glue gun, and about five or so glue sticks. Sorry if the lighting is pretty awful. I literally don't know, like I said, don't know where my little tripod thing is, so we're winging it. Okay, so what you're going to do, is you're going to take the layer off of your baby jar. Can you guys see the lids off? Yeah. You're going to take a hot glue gun. And what you're going to try and do is make, you can either do dots or squigglies. I'm choosing to do dots at the bottom. And make a good sized dot. Like that. And that's really hard to see. There it is. And then, oh sorry, I just moved you into the light. So there that is, and you're just going to want to repeat this process. It looks like this, you can either choose to use the top of the lid, sorry if it's too dark, or the inside. So top of the lid, or inside, and yes, my inside of my lid is orange, but that is because of what kind of baby food I took. I took some, um, sweet potatoes. So, I fixed it. Had to cut it off, and that's good now. Now I'm just inserting a clean stick. I had to cut it, so I don't know if I already said that. And I accidentally messed up the inside of my lid, so I'm just going to peel this off. There. That's a good thing with hot glue. You're always able to start over. So, I actually decided to do a circle on the inside because it already has like that ridge on the end. Oops, and yeah, you did just hear that pop. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you see how it already has like the outer circle already? So it will be easier just to, for me to add a couple more inner circles. Okay. Now, we're going to let that dry. By that drying, which is going to take longer because it's on metal. So, let that dry for a second or two. Now, these are dry and hardened. We're going to turn our jar sideways, like I said. And we're just going to do like an arrangement of things. So, right and I'm going to put zigzag lines all across here, like really tiny ones. So, that they're, that they're really going to be able to get in your brush. Nice and clean. Now we're going to let those cool off. And yeah. And then we're going to head to my bathroom and use a little bit of soap and water and show you guys how much my brushes come clean. So we're. Okay, guys. So we. Oh, that flash was bright. Okay, so we've moved to my bathroom. I've pulled out three of my favorite brushes. Um, this is by KCO. It's a angled eyeshadow brush and it has a glitter eyeshadow from football season then I pulled out my KCO um I forgot to do this with the other brush concealer brush let me show you guys this one this was the angled eye brush then I have my wet n wild medium what is it called medium eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to be using some dragon tan soap I know that's not the best thing to use on your brushes and some water the, the sink is actually behind you guys and so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my water on just a little bit and wet all my brushes. 
And yeah, I'm sitting on my toilet because this is literally the only way I could get like a halfway decent angle with lighting. Yeah. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on this side with my wet and wild brush. And I'm going to actually have to turn the water on because I need water. And I'm just going to scrub. So here we go. Okay guys, so I am back in my room, done cleaning my brushes. Um, these are the three brushes I cleaned. So if you guys can remember from the beginning of the video, I'll show you. I think I started off with my angle brush first, so I'm going to start with it again. This is my KCO angle brush. Hopefully I can like screenshot the picture of the before and insert it so you can like see them side by side. This is my KCO um, concealer brush, 100% clean. This is my Wet n Wild, what is it called? Wet n Wild medium sized brush. It was completely brown before, now it's almost completely back white and pink. Um, just so I can show you guys, like, I really did, like, the brushes really are clean because I know you can obviously tell with the Wet n Wild one, but with these two, I don't know if you can tell as well. Uh, I have a piece of tissue here, and I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to wipe it on here. They're not 100% dry because I don't have that much daylight left, but, like, I'm wiping this out, and nothing's coming off. Hopefully the camera can focus. So, the brushes are 100% clean. Um, just with that, um, and I also quit using the Dragon's Hand Wash and switched to my Cetaphil everyday daily wash face wash for oily skin and it took out everything of the brushes because I didn't feel like I needed to use hand wash and I don't have any makeup removing soap right now so see nothing nothing so they're 100% clean and just so I can show you the guys sweat and wild um here it is I don't know how good of a demonstrator I am. Probably not very well. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give my video a big, big thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed and you made it to the end, go ahead and subscribe because you know you want you don't want to miss another video from me. Also, press the bell because the bell gives you notifications so you never have to miss a video. So if you subscribe and press the bell, you should never miss one of my videos. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today, I don't know what I'm filming. Crap. No. Yeah. Crap, my door. Come on through so I can film my video. Kennedy, can you give me back my markers? Skinny kind. Why? Because I want them back. Oh no.